This year, Summer of Code was very special because we went from nine students to 19. And uh, that was great, but at the same time we were a bit scared. Uh, can we handle all that? But the results were pretty amazing. When you do this big jump, uh, basically doubling the number of, of projects you are taking, uh, you really need to get organized in a different way. Uh, you need to be more systematic, uh, you need to rely on, on a lot more on the mentors themselves. Each team must be more autonomous, but we kind of manage. Look at our organization, the Software Freedom Conservancy. We have so many different member projects in so many different areas of free software development. Uh, the Mentor Summit is the place that I can come to see all of them because they never go to the same conference except for this one because GSOC has done a, such a good job at bringing together all these different free software projects and getting them to talk to each other in ways that really no other program uh, today does. We found an incredible amount of just science projects, um, humanitarian projects, a lot of server projects, which were really cool because a lot of sisters are actually into those type of technologies. So I think they would be very excited to see that for next year. Just after a few weeks, uh, the, our Summer of Code students were not Summer of Code students. They were just regular members of our community using exactly the same channels as the rest of us use. And also, we are very happy about the small detail, which is important, which is seven of those students were women, which was a very different scenario of any previous years. Google Summer of Code has helped us to bring to fruition several projects that were just big in scope, and it's also helped us with a number of projects where we just needed somebody for a few months and they can sit and punch something out and focus on it for a while. So our goal is to, you know, to save the world essentially and GSOC has really been able to give us the opportunity to do that and to help our students do that and so we're looking forward to continuing that mission in years to come. I think free software generally is indebted to Summer of Code both for helping how it has with the outreach program for women um, both in sponsorship and in organizational inspiration and then you know and then also with Summer of Code generally because we've received so many, we've had so many great newcomers from Summer of Code. I, I can't even begin to tell you, we've had so many great students come in that have become invaluable members of our organization. I was talking to one of our board members a couple of months ago and he was telling me that, and I asked him, you know, how did you get involved with GNOME? And he said, oh, well, Summer of Code. And I had no idea. So he is a complete, you know, he is essential to the GNOME community and we would never have had him if not Summer of Code.